We're here today with Savant's new IP video tiling. You can see here the tiling interface I've got on the iPad, uh, matching what we're watching up on the TV in front of us. Uh, you see all the different quadrants right here. I've got a two by two layout. You see this is one television using Savant's IP video technology. We can take any source that goes into that video system and put it up on a tile on any display that's also part of the system. So you see here I've got our Apple TV, a couple of the cable boxes, I've got you know one of our little signage demos running there. You see down here at the bottom I've got all the different sources I can use. A very easy to control, say I wanted to do cable box number two, I wanted to change the channel, I can just tap on it, and you see here all the favorite channels come up that I can then choose from. Uh, if I pick on the Apple TV, you'll notice it automatically switches to that Apple TV control instead. You'll also see this little sound icon right here. I can uh, click on that, and I could just drag it to a different TV to listen to that source, to that TV instead. So now we're you know, listening to ESPN on the football game there. So very simple, very easy to use. Uh, if I wanted to go a full screen, I can just pinch and expand one of those screens and it will zoom in on it, it'll open the control for it, and you'll see that's what we're now watching. Now, if you wanted any of the other configurations, you see here we've got a, you know, a whole list of them here to choose from, uh, five, six layouts. Uh, let's go all the way down and go uh, as big as we can, and let's go to the 3x3 three three layout. It's going to take a second to get all those sources and display it on the TV, but you'll be able to see basically all nine <laughs> sources uh, on the TV at once. You see here I've chosen a cable, uh, some Roku, some Apple TVs, and our, our signage layout here as well. So now you can watch everything you want to watch all at once uh, super quickly and easily. Again, nothing changes here. The controls are still there. If I want to, you know, control cable box two, I see the favorites there. If I want to control the Roku, I see the, the Roku control screen. If I want to, you know, go control the cable box, but I want to, you know, type in by channel number. I want to pause it. You've got some custom buttons up here. All the different options are here represented. Super easy and super quick to use. In addition, you can set it up just the way you like it, and then you can save it as a preset. I can go in here and I can hit that plus button. Uh, I can give it a name. I can say what layout I want and save it as a preset. And there I can very quickly and easily recall it at any time. Custom presets can also be used in Savant Scene. So if you have a Savant Scene where you've got game day, you want the lights, your favorite sports team color, and you want the uh, curtains down and you want the thermostat just the right setting uh, some music playing you can put all that set it all up in savant scenes and then add one of these custom presets into that scene as well and you can quickly and easily launch it all at once